Once upon a time in a galaxy far, far away. Ray let the fresh oxygen flood her lungs deeply. It was a perfect moment. The moment the universe revolved around them. Because now everything was open to her. She was not expected, not hunted. Ray now had all the time in the world to decide what to do. Her purpose was found. A goal in mind. Paying their last respects to their teacher as well as their advocate. And now she knew who she wanted to be. With a gentle smile, she glanced at BB-8 a small spherical droid who had rolled up beside her and was looking back questioningly. The wind howled gently in the background, the light swirled on the horizon, and Tatooine's great twin suns began to set. The young woman's eyes lingered in what felt like an eternity at this sight. Enjoying the ambiance, as well as the feeling that spread inside her, a warm sense of contentment, of luck, as if she were freed from chains and her body was about to relax. She looked into the distance. Next. Breathed in and out calmly. She was ready, but for what? Why this thought all of a sudden? Ray's eyelids slowly wanted to close. The tender urge to go to rest. Tired or exhausted? No, somehow a sense of teaching spread through her. And lightness. Her feet felt as if they were sinking into the ground. And to float at the same time. Confused, Ray blinked and wanted to say something to BB-8. A question as an expression of their confusion. But when she looked down, the little droid just stared at her, motionless. Completely motionless. It took her a few seconds to comprehend what she was seeing. She looked at her droid. But it looked like it was disabled. Not just switched off, just as if it hadn't been used in years. Its exterior paint was suddenly completely worn out, scratched by sand and the case was cracked. BB-8 was marked by weathering. Ray couldn't get a word out. Something made her stunned. Weakly, she staggered back two steps and stared at the small droid, who was looking back with dead lenses. She looked around questioningly and looking for help. If the old woman was still around, with her mount. Which she asked minutes earlier who she was. Ray Sykwalker, she answered proudly. Came all the way to Tatooine to bury the lightsabers of their master Luke Skywalker and his sister Leia. At the gates of the windblown farm of Luke's uncle Owen and his wife Beru. The place where it all began. But there was no danger here. What happened here? She was confused but somehow not scared. The calm in her grew stronger. Like a hand that wanted to calmly guide her to the ground. The woman was gone, so was her mount. Just desert wind blowing around. Ray looked at the farm behind her. The distinctive dome of the entrance had collapsed. Only the edge protruded from the sand. The ditch was almost completely swallowed up by the sand. Had she stood here for years? Time devoured everything around them. Impossible. Master? She whimpered weakly into emptiness. Her legs gave way and her body sagged softly to the ground. The sand let them land softly. Your hands are no longer able to catch themselves. It felt like they weren't there anymore. Her own lightsaber, which Ray had recently ignited in front of herself to check it out, fell to the ground next to her and the body of the last Jedi rolled to the side so that she came to a standstill on her back. She took a deep breath again. Was she afraid? No. Dot her soul was calmed. She had achieved everything. She had done what she wanted. Something significant and she had found and chosen her path. She wasn't angry. No inheritance on behalf of her family. She was who she wanted to be. Ray was content. Dot and wanted to rest. Like the search for hope that always makes one seek the light, Ray's head slowly turned back towards the suns, which had almost set. As if she wanted to see that light last before closing her eyes. Just before surrendering to this warmth that wrapped around her like a blanket, something interrupted her contentment and calm. A swirled silhouette emerged from the cone of light from the suns. No, there were two. Unreal both walked in Ray's direction. An old man and a middle-aged woman. The outlines manifested unreal, as if coming out of nowhere. The feeling of contentment broke and the warmth disappeared again. The light became increasingly dimmer and darker as the suns disappeared on the horizon and the two unknowns were only a few steps away. Who are you? Came the man's voice. Ray frowned and slowly regained her strength. Her body began to straighten up again while the strangers came to a standstill just in front of her and looked at her questioningly. I, I'm Ray. 
she said in a low voice and got up weakly. Looked at both of them confused. Who stood quietly and eyed her. The man eyed her closely and suddenly frowned. You don't belong here. What were these words? What did these strangers want? Ray stood and lit her sword. The radiant yellow blade pulsed diagonally in front of her, underscored by Ray's determined look at her guests. The woman across from her, however, just looked at the sword unimpressed. A lightsaber? Can you use that too? Panting, Ray replied. Do you want to find out? I'm a Jedi. And you mean this is the way of a Jedi? Ray got into a fighting stance. Ready to defend yourself. I'm the last Jedi, and I will rebuild the order. And you won't stop me, she whispered to the stranger. There was no real reason for belligerence, but she felt weak and in danger. She was alone in the desert, on a hostile planet, and these people had deliberately headed for the farm. Accordingly, before she fell into the hands of slavers or bounty hunters, she would forestall them. However, the expected reaction did not occur. The two stood still and the woman answered again. What are you planning to rebuild? That which has existed for decades. Ray's features froze. Did you dream? What had happened to BB-8? With the farm and now this statement. Somehow Ray wished they would attack her now. Then she would know what to do. She couldn't understand how to deal with this moment. What do you want? She just stammered out. The man answered again. We are looking for Skywalker. And whatever you want to do now, be sure. It will have more consequences than you know.